Hey guys, it's Adam again with my second episode of Tutorial Tuesday. And today I'm going to try to teach you how to play, I am going to teach you how to play uh, Hey Soul Sister by Train. So my goal is to do this as clearly and quickly as possible so I can get you guys learning this fast. So there are four chords in the entire song. They are E major, B major, C sharp minor, and A major. So I'll show you one by one how to play those chords. And I'm going to do the fingering for these chords in a way that your ring finger is always going to be on this fourth string. Okay? The string highest to the ceiling, if you want to think of it that way. Okay? So the first string is E major, I mean, the first chord is E major. And the way that we play that, or that we're going to do it, is uh, you're going to do a bar all the way across that second fret. So you're just going to hold all those strings down with that finger. And then you're going to also do a bar with your ring finger there. Okay? And it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but you only want to cover up the uh, these three strings, okay? The fourth, third, and second string with your ring finger, okay? Um, so you should hear, okay? There you go. Hopefully, not too much buzzing, okay? And if you can't get the the top string, this one. Um, if your finger is like muting it, that's okay. Um, if your ring finger is muting that top string, that's okay because the outer two strings are playing the same note. So if you can't get this one, you're still you're still good to go. All right. So this might be a little uncomfortable at first. Just keep practicing it. You can do it. I know you can. Okay. So that's E major. Next chord is B major. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the bar with our index finger, and we are just gonna add here and lift up. There, so I have the bar and then ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then middle finger on the third fret of the third string. Okay. Now, to get to C sharp minor, we're going to lift up our middle finger. So we have this shape, and we're just going to slide up two frets. One, two. Okay, so now we're barring on the fourth fret, and just have this finger on the 6th fret of the 4th string. C sharp minor. Okay, and then the last chord is A major. We're just going to lift up that bar finally, and we're going to slide this finger all the way down to the 2nd fret of the 4th string, and we're just going to add our middle finger to the 1st fret of the 3rd string for A major. Okay, so you've learned all the chords in the song, so you pretty much know it already, just got to learn the order and how to strum it. So as far as the strumming goes, this is probably the most difficult part. It's kind of a re reggae rhythm and strum strumming pattern. So the best way to think about this, I think, is to divide it into units um, of four strum unit. Okay? And so what I mean by four strum unit is this is one, two, three, four. Okay? So down, up, down, up. That's one unit. Okay? And when I strum, I flick out my index finger when I'm going down and then I kind of pull it up. I do it all on my index finger. There's other ways to play it. Some people use their thumb, and that's fine too. And uh, I also, I do have long nails. Uh, a lot of people commented on my, uh, uh, what song is it? By Jason Mraz, I'm Yours. I posted a tutorial for that, and a lot of people commented about my nails. You do not need nails to play ukulele. I play fingerstyle, acoustic, and classical guitar also, so I have nails for that. You do not need nails. Um, okay, so back to business. Four strum reggae beat. One, two, three, four. The way that we're going to do this is that the third strum, number three, is accented. That's going to be loud. The other strums are, are quiet, okay? So it should be like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Let's try that with the E major chord, that first chord that we went over. And we should get taking it slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, accenting the three. All right? And that, so that that unit is four strums. And we're going to have four of those units of four strums per chord. So four units per chord. So, and it's going to go in that same order in which I introduced the chords for the verses. It's going to be one, two, three, four, then B, one, two, three, 
four, then C sharp minor, one, two, three, four, then A, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then that same thing is going to repeat, but it's going to be a little bit different at the end when you repeat it. So we're back here. One, two, three, four. Uh, here, sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this part's a little bit different. Instead of just doing four here like we did last time, we're going to do two here on the A and then two on the B. So one, two, one, two. Okay, so the first time after the C sharp minor, the first time we did it, it was one, two, three, four, and then just four. One, two, three, four. The second time after you repeat everything, after the C sharp minor, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Okay? And that's the verse with the hey, 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 and uh, the verses with all the, the, those parts, and uh, yeah, I can talk well. And then finally, um, the bridge is also those chords also, uh, with the I'm so gangster, I'm so thug part. So I'm going to try to just sing like the Hayes, for example, along with it. I'm not a professional singer, so don't judge me. Um, but here we go. So it's going to be like... Okay? That's kind of like the pattern. Now, you can play it that way that I just showed you, and it'll sound great. If you want to do it exactly the way it is in the song, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, Train, he actually does, uh, he alters the beginning part of that reggae pattern that I did. So instead of just um, this, or instead of just, he actually does a, it's kind of like a, bum, bum, ba da da, ba da 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 da, bum. So if you can hear it and, and follow along, boom. it's kind of like a soft, hard, and then it's the same, same, same strum pattern. He does that on every chord. Okay, but if, you, if you're having trouble with that, just feel free to do it the way that I showed you first, and it'll sound great too. Um, okay, so that's the verses. That's most of the song. Um, the chorus is a little bit different. Um, after you do, uh, you know, the repeating, the repeated end ending, where it goes one, two, one, two. Going into the chorus, it's gonna go back here for four. One, two, three, four. And what's gonna do is two on the B next. One, two, and then just a strum on the E. Then just a strum on the B. Okay, so taking repeating that again, it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, strum, strum. Okay, and that whole thing, you're going to do three times. Um, and then the, you're actually going to do it a fourth time, but it's different the fourth time. So um, I'll sing along with it, and I'll, I'll get to the fourth time when I get there. So it's... Hey, soul sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio? Stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know. Hey, soul sister, I don't want to miss a single thing. So we just arrived at the fourth time, and so it starts off the same. It's going to go four here again, and two here again, and then just going to be a strum after that just a down. So four, two, and then a down on here also. So one, two, three, four, one, two, down. Okay? So um, I don't want to miss a single thing you do tonight. Okay? And then if you're a uh, 
you know, if you're talented, you can you might be able to do the fast little strummy thing. Um, they'll sound kind of like. Mm, you do tonight. So that's just really fast um, with the index finger is what I do. Um, if you can do that, great. Um, but yeah, that's the whole song. And after that, it goes back into the haze back here to that part. So that's the whole song. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, just feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to try to get back to you as soon as possible. And feel, please uh, leave suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like me to do um, on ukulele or guitar. Uh, and please subscribe because I have a lot more great stuff uh, coming your way. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care.